been a while again, hasn't it? It's been a while. So, ladies and gentlemen, the last time you heard from me is when I made the fight proposal to Nick Crippy Crippy Crompton. And since then, it's been almost a month has passed, I think. Let me check. It has officially been over a month, just a month and a few days, since that happened and since Nick said yes. Now, the behind the scenes stuff is done. Pretty much everything is agreed, just not the glove size, okay? I want lighter gloves so I can do some damage, you know? Anyway, what have I been up to in that month? Well, what I've been doing is solely focusing on the task that is at hand. So August is five months away. This month was all about putting the first stepping stones in place so that I am ready to completely transform me, myself, and I, and um, just have a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal fight in August, okay? And I'm really looking forward to it. So what you guys are going to be seeing today is sort of like a day in the life, um, not a proper day in the life, but a day in the life of training Ethan, eating Ethan, everything that I'm doing at the minute. Yesterday was full of activities, which is pretty much every day at the minute, and um, I cook all my own food and everything, so pretty much I'm focusing solely on this, but I do want to stop posting more again. <laughs> So, let me know if you do want to see more gym work or whatever it is you guys want to see. So yeah, that's what it's going to be today. Once again, sorry, but I hope you guys understand that I'm putting in a ton of work behind the scenes to grow these biceps. And um, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. If you're wondering what this is, um, I burst some blood vessels in my left bicep. So yeah, grr. Anyway, let's get on to the video. Who's arrived? So, this is Dida. He is my personal trainer and he's also responsible for making JJ perform the way he did in his fight. And he's been training with JJ and myself for quite some time now. JJ's been with Dida around a year and I think I've been with him just over a month or so now. So, yeah, it's looking good. Tell us what we're focusing focusing on today. Because uh, we got Emily today. Yeah. We're going to function. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do uh, mainly functional stuff. First of all, we're going to do a dynamic warm up. And cool. Then, uh, get into some functional stuff, get the body moving in all sorts of directions. Jeez, let's do it. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workout. I've put God's plan in the background just because. So yeah, this is the warm up category. So it's like a dynamic warm up. Just getting all the muscles prepared for what they're about to go through. This was a pretty grueling session that lasted about an hour plus, I think it was, maybe an hour and a half. And it was filthy. And then you can make, see me spinning my arms. This video is, I don't know what it is, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I've put cool effects on the screen. So it's like a video diary of my working out. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. There's me lifting a ball, uh, doing some core exercises. Um, basically, what Dida does is he doesn't teach me how to box because I have a boxing coach for that. But what Dida does is he conditions my body and gets all my movement and mechanics and everything flowing how they're supposed to. So you can see me doing planks here. This one's called the dead bug. This one's a fun one. I can hold it for quite a long time. I have cut the clip short though, but I can hold it for a while. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mother. I'm sorry. You like that? Yeah? End of workout one. Cool. Bye. Right, so I'm now at my station. So after the workout, we're going to make a quick Greek yogurt proton smasher, okay? So I've got a couple of frozen berries. Yeet. This is going to be a bit too small, isn't it? No, you blend that fat. No, but it's like doing it once. No. See, I don't think that's right. You need the yogurt because it's not stuck. I just didn't even listen to you. <laughs> Bang, Greek yogurt. So, in this pot alone, there's 17.8 grams of protons and they're very good protons. Zero fat as well. So, Greek yogurt's the way forward. So, so in this, you meant to have chia seeds, but I forgot the order. So, frozen berries. Now, a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I've just got rid of the tablespoon. Oh, it's like honey. Yeah. Quite thick. Oh, why's that? Well, I, I did it under a tablespoon because anything syrup is not good. So, we've now got about six frozen strawberries, a ton of blueberries, and now we're going to whisk it all up again. What was that you say? It's not made for this, is it? 2,000 years later. So, if you want to check out this Sideman Clothing Mass Day shirt, Now's the time to do so. Day three. Take it off and give it a stir. There's just one strawberry, look. 
you know I forgot the ice cubes? You don't need them because they're frozen. No, it's said to add ice cubes. That's what not gonna that's not gonna grind I if it doesn't grind to <laughs> crazy. No, but that's like the strawberries like a rock. No, I don't think it's gonna grind ice. <laughs> it, it, this thing was so cheap. <laughs> Two hours later. You can lock it in place. Huh? Press it down and twist it and it locks in place. Let go. Let go. Oh. <laughs> Very Greek proton goodness that is. Final touch. They call it a party lid. Oh, a party lid. <laughs> so, boom. Greek yogurt, frozen berries and vanilla extract without the chia seeds. Bottoms up. Yeah, we have to see you drink it. It's great. <laughs> so we're now in the whip. We are heading over for the second session of the day. This is my boxing session. So we're going to link up with Vidal. You may have seen him with JJ. He's also my boxing coach. So we're going to head over there, do a big old session, and then uh, probably come home and make dinner or something. But yeah, so two sessions, one day. Um, let's go and smash it. Back with the master, champion. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is my boxing coach, Vidal. Now just like Dida, you would have seen Vidal with JJ's because I pretty much have the same team around me as JJ does. Now Vidal is a very young man and he is an incredibly talented boxer and I think he's going to be a future world champion one day and he's got a few exciting things in the pipeline coming soon. Anyway, what he does is he is my complete and utter boxing coach and in this session you are going to see us fine tune just the movement mechanics and stuff like that. But yeah, he PTs for a few of the guys in the tower as well and um, yeah. Let's just get on to the training. What's the session today? Today is all about work. Yep. All about... Jeez. Jeez. Okay, okay. Jeez. Yeah, yeah footwork today, footwork today. Most important thing, strong base, even generating power, knocking out. Jeez. Jeez. Now, ladies and gents, welcome back to me talking over things. You may be wondering, why is that a freeze frame? So, we started this session with cone work, and literally this session alone, uh, Vidal texted me afterwards and said this was our best session yet because it's all about fine-tuning the proper Proper mechanics of everything I'm doing so there's nothing there's no stones left untouched So this may look like oh my god, what's Bez doing? He's only doing like this this and that this is still in my first month of training But we are going so in-depth and I'm a student to the game at this point So all I'm doing is learning the mechanics learning where to put my base so it's concrete still and um, I know I know how to do my footwork. I know how to deliver that into my hips and then deliver it to the pads as well, as you can see what we're doing here. So Vidal's a very good coach. He'll constantly pick up on things that you're doing. As you can see here, as I'm throwing my right, my left isn't high enough. Then as you can see, three or four times in, my left hand is covering where it's supposed to be. And Vidal looks like he likes that one. So yeah, I just thought this is a better way of doing things to just talk over things. In this, I've sort of slow mode it for myself just to see where things are happening. But here I've got my hands held high. It's looking quite good. Anyway, I'm going to pass you back over to current time, Bez. Bye. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, boxing is one of the best things to get fit. So far today, that's two sessions. I've had a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. This is more like a personal log of like it's not gonna be a super sick video it's just a personal log of like what i'm getting up to at the minute and just so you guys can see like the work i'm trying to put in right now anyway recap on the session incredible my recovery time is so much better now like i can just stop and go into things i'm steaming up this place because i'm still so hot and sweaty it was literally like dripping off of me but yeah recap i felt a little bit sluggish and sloppy I've done way better like nine punch combos before and i'll have to take the camera and get someone to film like properly when um because i've been quite busy recently we've done sidemen shoot days and stuff and i just i feel a bit sluggish uh, the, the delivery was a bit sloppy. Next session will be 10 times better. I think I'm going again on Saturday, so I might bring you with me then. But for now, it's time to go home and get some dinner and stop steaming up my car. But once I've eaten, I'm then going to football training. So yeah, I played 80 minutes Sunday league, 75, 80 minutes Sunday league the other day, and it was a lot of fun. Anyway, I need to go home because I've paid for my parking ticket. And I'm not sure how this thing works. Anyway, home, dinner, football training, and let's go. So your boy Bez is back in the car. I forgot to film upstairs because I left my camera in the car. Anyway, anyway, for dinner, I had edamame beans with sweet corn. I then had cod and some um, 
uh, what do you call it, ribeye beef, which is good. Uh, and then I had some rice as well, so pretty good. Got a balance of some cool fish in there. Got some red meat in there just for the ultimate protein gains. And yeah, it was a lovely, lovely meal. Anyway, time for football. Football training. Oh God, the lights have just gone off in the car park. Football training is usually uh, like an hour and a half, two hours of just seven aside, so non-stop. And um, it's really good cardio. I'll show you my Fitbit stats at the end anyway. Yeah, let's head there now. You'll see a few familiar faces as well. Hey, Charlie Donald. How are you? I'm making videos again. Then. Is this a new camera? Yeah, Sony RX100. Towley. Great free kick of the weekend, mate. What can I say? Nice right. Jeez. Jeez. Decent. Still waiting for the video, though, aren't I, Charlie? Yeah, still waiting for the video. You ain't getting the... Okay, fine. No, I, honestly, can you send it to me so I can put it in the video to big him up? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah? I want it. This send is, it to me instead. This is Theo Towley's goal. He's doing well. One minute. Yeah, he's fucking blocked him the line. Get in. Yes! Fuck yes! 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 <laughs> what a goal! That was a flight that was, wasn't it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Single! Bang! And look at a football, and if you do a glander shot, you know, like a proper glander shot, if you do a glander shot and it hits top bins, I'll put your channel in the description. <laughs> <laughs> so I give glander a ball! <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on, from here. All right, do a glander shot. Go on. Glander file it. Oh, it's, it is saved by the gate. <laughs> so, ladies and gents, I'm just going to let some football footage run around in the background. Once again, I've put the cool little VHS effect on it because it makes it feel like an old school video diary. Let me know if you like it or not because I, I can happily take it off. It's just, I thought I'd try something new, you know? Anyway, ladies and gents, this video is meant to be a different type of video where it's sort of like an update uh, and a behind the scenes of what I'm doing with my life at the moment and how I'm trying to put some work in behind the scenes and it's just to give you guys a little insight and a little personal feeling to my training to how serious I'm taking it etc etc and just so you guys get a little bit more of a grasp on like yeah what I'm doing so coming up in the future I can happily get involved with more fitness things and post more fitness things because that is literally all I'm going to be doing until the charity match and until the boxing. So, hopefully, when you, if you guys come along to the charity match, which you can find tickets to down below, by the way, um, you'll see a thin-built, lovely Bez, because that's in June. So we've got two months, literally two months more, training until June, which I'm really excited about because I think I'll be in a decent shape by then. So bang, we bang the football match out. Then it's the look forward to the big event. It's August. It's the boxing match. And boy, oh boy, am I excited. At the end of the boxing segment today, I did say I felt a little bit sluggish and sloppy. But since then, Vidal has texted me and said that that was our best session yet. And he was really, really happy with it. And I suppose that's because what you don't see is how we're trying to fine-tune things. I did mention that we are trying to do that and literally just getting the mechanics right. We're not just throwing me in and just going, all right, throw bangs, right? All you've got to do is just throw bangs at the pads, like jab hard, hit hard. We're just trying to focus on doing the right little, the little, little, little things perfectly so we can move on and have that big, strong core around me. And then, yeah, everything will come free flowing and we'll be we'll be doing one round knockouts in August, okay? But yeah, I think I'm really excited for August. I think everyone training me is really excited for August. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little naughty night. But yeah, I thought I'd just talk to you guys a bit more over this football footage. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but yeah. I've really enjoyed making this video because it's more of a little log. But um, next time I'll get try and get someone to like film me and stuff just so it's not a one camera on a tripod and I can make sort of like a more cinematic and better video. I think maybe that would be uh, better off. But yeah, what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, is wrap this video up here and play the outro in a second. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'm very, very, very sorry for leaving you guys in the dark, but I feel like you guys can understand that your boy is trying to make the Bazinga Nation proud, okay? And um, yes, I love you guys that have stuck by me and supported me. The people that tweet me every day uh, with support. You guys, you guys keep me going through the rough times. There's been days where I wake up and I don't want to do anything. And boom! I can't let anyone down. It's impossible. I can't do it. So yeah, thank you very much. I love you all. Um, and let me know if you do want more of these videos soon. Mwah. Goodbye. <laughs>